<laughs> that was sweet. We've made over 1,000 subs! I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos and subscribing to the channel. I love chatting with you all in the comments and answering your questions, and these four months on YouTube have been a blast so far. This channel's growth isn't all my own doing either, as I see a lot of you telling other players on Reddit and the forums about my tutorials. Half the time I'm going into one of these threads to answer the question myself, and end up seeing my videos being linked by other people or telling them to search for my channel. That is so cool. As my way of saying thanks, I have made a couple of designs for you. I'm proud to present the Allstock Warhog. It is heavily inspired by the iconic ground vehicle from the Halo series called the Warthog. Hopefully you recognize it. Also available is the missile-free version called the Parthog. Both designs are capable of carrying three Kerbals and are a blast to drive around. Loading them up is easy enough thanks to the detachable command module. Once you're all loaded up, just toggle your lights on and off and the module will detach. The design is fairly sturdy and I'd love to be able to quote Zap Brannigan and say she's built like a steakhouse but handles like a bistro, but uh, unfortunately she handles like a steakhouse too. You can unlock four wheel steering by pressing the zero key if you want, but I only recommend this at low speeds as you can see it gets tipsy with the rear wheels unlocked. I spent a lot of time trying to match the original look of the Warthog and I took some artistic liberties to make it more Kerbal. What we end up with is a pretty mean looking SUV that you can use for driving Kerbals around or towing things using your rear docking port. I plan to revise the design to make it a little more maneuverable since it feels like the front wheels aren't turning as much as they should be. For fast corners, your best bet is almost to just two wheel it around. <laughs> If you're feeling more destructive, you can download the missile-laden Warhog and try your hand at blowing stuff up. The base design is the same, but there is an obvious difference. The turret matches the feel of the original Warthog's turret and turned out pretty good. The gunner even gets his own Kerbal interface. I have to thank Veos for helping me tweak the missile's design a bit to improve their accuracy. Before the fixes, they would just fly off in the distance on what seemed like a suborbital trajectory. Not ideal for short-range weaponry. All of the missiles are bound to action groups, with the 1 through 4 keys firing in the first set of ring missiles. The 5 key launches the main I-beam missile, and 6 through 9 will fire off the rest. The tweaks that Beos added help to bring missiles down at predictable range, which makes targeting much easier as all the missiles make contact at around 300 meters. I may or may not have had way too much fun blowing stuff up. <laughs> So there you have it, the Parthog and the Warthog, both inspired by the Warthog from Halo. Alright, time to let the Kerbals go take them for a spin. Nah, you're a hot joke, 
Oh, you can't tell if you want to go bed, yeah. Nah, how bad you just had <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching, and again, a huge thank you to my subscribers and all the viewers out there. These months have gone by pretty fast, and I can't wait to see where the next four months takes us. Until next time, take it easy.